down the hammer and pick up the pencil. You're about to listen to the Savvy Radio Show. Learn from real life real estate investors. Experience revealed with the Savvy Landlord as your host. Man, I thought I would get a podcast on faster. But that's what happens when you're working on the Investor Weekend. Yep. And I'm also working on the Landlord Lunch slash Investor Lunch. I'm working on that coming up next week, covering a bunch of new websites. And here's some websites that have uh, impacted me lately and it should impact you. Anyway, you tuned in to the Savvy Radio Show. What up? What up? My name is Steve Van Kallenberg. I am the Savvy Landlord. I'm doing something. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's uh, changing your world. Because just the work that I'm doing is trying to change my own world. Anyway, the first website up is called 16personalities.com. One six, like the number, and then personalities, P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-I-T-I-E-S dot com. Okay, so if you don't, if you've been following me for a while, you don't know me, but here's the deal. The, this thing called D-I-S-C, Disc Personality profile has been a life changer for me in all aspects, not only for my wife, but for business. I learned DISC years ago from Zig Ziglar. I was on a cruise with him, changed my life. It was the best thing I ever did. Then I just fell in love with the DISC profiling. And then when I was in sales and selling bridal show and DJ services, I was like, you want to know who you're talking to. Are you talking to a D uh, you know, a, a direct person, a type A person, an I, an outgoing person, an S, a support person, or a C, an analytical. And I've been studying some analytical stuff lately. It's been fascinating having high C's in my world. A lot of C's. I just found out that our analysis paralysis, we all know that, we all have that. But I have been coaching some people lately and just to really define who they are. So I found this website. It's a newer version. It's a free test. Go on 16personalities.com and you can take these tests, be honest with these questions. They're modern questions and it will just make you stronger as a person. You know, you want to be who you are. You want to know who you are, and then you want to learn about other people, about your staff, about your wife. You can learn to understand other people. You can have a, like a direct path for success so you know what's going on. And then if you can build a relationship, like you know a banker is a high-detailed individual. And so you now you know you, you want to talk to them in their language. And so it's free. Check it out, 16personalities.com. You can't go wrong. All right, so my homie uh, turned me into Echo Prayer. Now, the website is new.echoprayer.com. This actually is a app that holds all of your prayers in one place across all your platforms. Bomb, bomb diggity. And, you know, you, you definitely need to pray. I, I think success is based on giving back, meditating, kind of knowing what you're doing, what you're going on. And so this Echo app, it's on the Apple or Android, and they also have a website and they, it all syncs. And it's real easy. Like just, you just swipe. Like I write someone like my wife, my wife is dealing with this. I have her, my wife's name in there. And then I just swipe and I read it and then I'm praying for my kids. I'm praying for my church. I'm praying for certain people. Right. And it's all saved in there and it's so easy to use and you can share the prayer with someone else. So like if they're going on a mission trip, let's say, or they're in the hospital, you can click a button and you can share it and they can share prayers with you. It keeps track of all your prayers. Say if say you had a prayer that's answered. I know this is crazy. This is the Savvy Radio Show. What I'm talking about praying, you should be praying. You should keep tracking of your prayers. Are they answered? Can you share them and you can delete them? It also you can set up an option in the in your phone uh, or your your app to remind you like a push notification. Hey, did you pray? Uh, it's to me. I've been using it for several days now, maybe a week, and I love it. It's just it's just it's just a great tool, and I definitely recommend. It's called Echo. So go to your um, app store, click on Echo, and you can make it happen. And go pray. One more. All right, bang. Now you need a budget.com. <laughs> no, Y N A B. You no, you need a budget.com. Here's the deal. This is very fascinating. I, I did not realize this. I mean, you know this. 
that right now in Oklahoma, we're having all kinds of problems with our school system. It's it's pretty nutty where right now teachers like at the end of the first of April are rallying to go on strike. And so I've been thinking about this and it's on my Facebook page and I'm not not saying it's I'm for it or against it. I'm definitely for allocating more finances for children. I mean, for education, if we don't have education, how can we succeed? The more, you know, the more you read. And I mean, the more, the more, you know, the more you read, the more you make. Okay. So I was, you know, I was debriefing with my wife about this deal. You know, what's the aftermath? How long could these teachers sustain? Like, and then a thought popped in my head. Majority of people are on paycheck to paycheck. And I I agree with this strike that we need to change. Like we got this lottery. Are we really making um, as money flowing to school systems and, and teachers? But I, it's almost like it's criminal that how long can a teacher choke out? You know, you're successful when you can sustain without income, like your businesses or your rental property or whatever you're trying to do is sustaining you through the hard times. And so this is pretty interesting. This, this website I came across is called you need a And it's, it, it sinks your bank accounts, your goals, your debt management all in one place. I know I, I covered doc hub uh, last week and I know there's so many great tools coming out. But the cool thing is, is that you can kind of keep this in your face at all time. I have my goals on a dry erase board in my closet every day. I look at these. I'm in my closet right now to Savvy Headquarters Part 2. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, yo, my, it says your body's a living sacrifice. What's my income? What's my passive income goal? What's my residual income goal? What am I trying to do? What's my weight goal? What, how many units am I trying to buy? It's in my face, man. You can get your budget on lockdown. I'm telling you, when you have your budget in order and you're living and breathing it and you're succeeding and the extra income you come in, you think about it, there's, there's bar none. You can't hold you back. So it, it has a fee. It's like $7 a month after 30 days. It's free to check it out. The, the, the cool things I like about it, it syncs all your bank statements in one place. So you kind of see what's going on. There's no weirdness. Like, I don't know how much money I have in there. Boom. You open the app and you can see it. It's on your phone on an app. You can pay down your debt. Say if you want to allocate certain money and you can kind of have a graph and see where you're going. Say you have a goal. You want to get this done to certain debt out of, out of the way. You have uh, great reports. Um, for progress. And it's, it's, it just reminds you when you, when you get that statement, you know, nowadays they, they try to do everything paperless. Right. And I, I don't know why. And I like it. And I don't, cause I love it when I get my mortgage statement in the mail and I'm like, the first thing I look at, what is my interest? What am I paying? And what is my principal? And how long does it take to get out of this situation? Anyway, so check it out. It's called your, you know, you need a budget.com. Y O U N E E D A B U D G E T dot com. Anyway, you tuned in to the Savvy Radio Show. I appreciate you. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll see you on Investor Weekend or at the, at the Landlord Lunch next week on the 21st. So I'm going to bring a hard bunch of websites. Investor Weekend is not far off. Talk with over 10 soon. information sessions to increase your portfolio, log on to www.investorweekend.com. Whether you are a seasoned investor or never purchased a property before, you don't want to miss the Investor Weekend. Join us for a powerful, knowledge-packed weekend with over 10 informational sessions that are bound to enlarge your real estate investments. You will hear from the best national and local real estate investors that will share practical and relevant experiences with you, the investor. There will be several networking sessions to connect with other like-minded people for potential funding, partnerships, and yes, hot deals. Go to www.investorweekend.com. Did you know we meet once a month for the Landlord Lunch Meeting? The third Wednesday of every month, go to landlordlunch.com. Thanks for listening to the Savvy Radio Show. Glide online and listen to our other motivating episodes at SavvyRadioShow.com. Connect on Twitter at LandlordBook and always be buying assets. 